What's up, everybody? Josh from WNC Venom here. I've had a lot of people in the past little bit ask me what happens in case of a bite. What happens if I get bit? Well, that's why I have these. And if you're a venomous keeper and you don't have these, you need these. These are bite protocols. These are from the Florida Snake Bite Institute. If you are a venomous keeper and you don't have these, go to the internets right now. Them their internets. Go to the internets right now. Look up Florida Snake Bite Institute. Get in contact with them and buy some snake bite protocols. These are six bucks, seven bucks a piece. I think they're less than ten dollars a piece. If you have only a few snakes like I do, I went with this route. You can get the whole shebang, I think, for like two or three hundred dollars. I'm not sure on pricing, so don't quote me on that. But you need these protocols. These will save your life in case of an envenomation. What these do is these instruct the physician and the ER team how to treat the bite of an exotic snake. Now I do have North American Pit Viper protocol in here too, which is the same pretty much in every hospital um, and it covers all North American Pit Vipers. But for the exotic snakes like the Speedolaps, uh, my African snakes, the Bittas, um, the Squams, or my White-Lipped Pit Viper, the Asian snakes I have, I need these. They need these. This is what will save my life and or digits. So, first thing I do is I grab my protocols. I call 911, tell them I'm on the way because I'm not by myself and I'm not waiting for an ambulance. I'm going to have someone drive me to the emergency department. Since I only live less than five minutes away from one, I'm going to have someone drive me there. I'm not waiting on the ambulance. I will get there as soon as possible. <clears throat> and from there, I will let them do their job with this in hand. This tells them where to get antivenin, how to infuse the antivenin. Now, I have my own supply of antivenin. If you're going to keep snakes like this, especially exotics, I highly recommend that you do that. You acquire your own antivenin. It requires FDA approval. It requires FDA licensing. And it takes a lot of red tape and brouhaha to get it. But it is well worth it because it will save your life and or digits and or limbs in the case of a bitus bite. If you are bitten by a bitus, any bitus, so that's your uh, rhino vipers, gaboon vipers, puff adders, at best you're going to lose an arm or whatever bite, whatever appendage is bitten, you're gonna lose it. So, these will save your arm and your life. Get you a bite protocol if you don't have one. So yeah, that's what would happen in case of a bite. But, the best way to avoid a bite is proper handling techniques, using tools, using gloves, and gloves do not protect you 100%. Hooks don't protect you 100%. The best thing to do is to know your snake, know what you're doing, get the experience you need, and stay away from the pointy end. Peace out.